This video will cover the topic, Transforming the Graph of a Function by Shrinking or Stretching. What does it mean to transform a graph? In this topic, transforming a graph means to either multiply all y-coordinates by a given coefficient, or to divide all x-coordinates by a given coefficient. A problem asking to divide all x-coordinates by a coefficient looks like the following example. The graph of y equals f of x is shown. Graph y equals f of 2x. A problem asking to multiply all y-coordinates by a coefficient looks like the following example. The graph of y equals g of x is shown. Graph y equals 1 half g of x. Okay, that makes sense. But why can't we transform a graph by multiplying both the x and y coordinates in the same problem? Good question. Although altering both the y coordinates and the x coordinates in the same problem may work mathematically, this is not a transformation of the graph. If both the x and y coordinates change, then our function will now have an entirely different domain and range. Thus, it should be written as a different function not as a transformation of one function. So, when we transform a function, either the domain or the range will change, but not both? Exactly. Let's look at the first example, where we are asked to graph y equals f of 2x based on the original graph given. We are dividing the x-coordinates by 2, so our domain will change in this problem. Since this function is one line, Dividing the x-coordinates of the endpoints by 2 and drawing the new line segment will result in our answer. This line segment now goes from negative 2, 4 to 0, 0. For the next example, we are asked to graph y equals 1 half g of x based on the original graph given. We are multiplying the y-coordinates by 1 half so our range will change in this problem. This problem has two connected line segments, so should we use all three endpoints? Exactly! Multiplying the y-coordinates of each endpoint by one-half yields our new graph, with endpoints at negative 4, 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 0, 0. Okay, I think I understand, but let me summarize what we've just learned, just to be sure. To transform the graph of a function by shrinking or stretching, we first look at the change in the equation for the function. If the coefficient is in front of the function, then we're multiplying the y-coordinates by that coefficient to alter the range of the function. If the coefficient is in front of the x in the function, then we're dividing the x-coordinates by that coefficient to alter the domain of the function. That's right. 